super talented singer Demi Lovato makes a shocking revelation. She couldn't go more than a half an hour to an hour without having cocaine. She even admits to smuggling the dangerous drug on planes despite having a sober coach with her 24-7. Listen to this from Access Hollywood. I could hide it to where I would sneak drugs. I couldn't go without probably like 30 minutes to an hour without um, cocaine and I'd bring it on airplanes. How? Um, I would just, I don't know, I would smuggle it basically and um, just wait till everyone in first class went to sleep and I would just do it right there or I'd sneak to the bathroom and I'd do it. Three years ago, Demi was about to go on tour with the Jonas Brothers until she abruptly canceled after freaking out and punching one of her own backup dancers. Demi entered a treatment facility for addiction, eating disorders, and cutting. Now, she undoubtedly has come a long way since leaving rehab in 2011. That's two years ago. Demi even lived in a sober house during her first stint as a judge on The X Factor. That's amazing, living this incredibly glamorous Hollywood life, and then she goes back to Sober Living House every night. Listen to what she told The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. There's a lot of young people that look up to me, and I just, there needs to be someone that stands out and says it's not about, you know, Molly and partying and all that stuff. Right. You know. <laughs> Melanie Bromley, senior correspondent, E! News. This is shocking, but it's also extremely courageous for her, now that she is sober, to talk about what she was like. That's right. You know, she has just released a book as well, which has kind of motivational words for every day of the year. But for her to come out at the age of 21 and show such courage and be so honest about the struggles that she's been through, it's very, very rare in today's you know, Hollywood society where most of the time celebrities are trying to cover up the problems that they're going through.